Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, and we're playing the new, old, remade, remastered, uh, I'm not sure, it's a bit, it was a, I don't know, I've never actually heard of it until I saw it recently, we're playing Greedfall, uh, Greedfall, so far from the looks of it and the trailer of it, looks like pirate-ish era, um, maybe navy type person, I might be able to pick who I become. Uh, that said, uh, we are trying to find my brother, cousin, mother, something. I already had a sword. Yeah, that's dodge. The gameplay is very loud. Yeah, the gameplay was very loud. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. back up. Where did I get that sword? Defend my attacks. Hey! Ow! Oh, okay, I wasn't ready. Okay. Because... Could you stop for a moment? Prove to Kurt you can fight. Oh, uh, yeah? Okay. Oh, I took damage. And... Oh, let me... I know! Game! Game! Just... Game! Gay, will you will you let me do my thing? I know, game. Gay, game, please. Seriously? No chicken. Come on, you chicken. Come on, fight. Fire in the arm. Come on, fight. You dead. Not dead. It's the fury. Thanks for the training, you two. Uh, can I get your weapon before you go? Hey, buddy. Weapon, please. Give it. Here. You impressed? I know you are. Uh, no, oh, I need to get you so used to these controls. Okay, so it's hold for that. Oh, there we are. The... <sighs> oh, what, what the... Is this? Have you not been taught to knock? So do I cure that disease? What? What is it? What's... Excuse me. And, um, does your hair miss some shading? Some pixels maybe missing from your hair? Better say goodbye to your mother. Ooh, I got a hat. I got a funky hat. Da, da, da. I'm gonna gouge! Can I drop kick people? This Is this a remake of like a PS3 game? The way the, the, the characters look and the way the mouths are moving remind me of a PS3 game, just with better quality graphics. What is this? What, like, did this game just come out of war or something? Can I climb roofs? I, apparently I could. Uh, so, what am I saying? Like, is this game remade of a PS3 game? The characters' designs, the way the mouth moves, the the way like the game feels in general, it, it kind of feels like a PS3 game, but like remastered with better quality and like a better look to the game. And damn, like the world looks nice, it, like it really does. Character control gameplay, it feels a bit off. Like I wish Sprint was um, R3. That's why I keep pressing it. It's because R3, uh, L3, sorry is 
I'm just so much more used to it. And judging by the burning bodies, is that from the disease? Like, if you saw the mum, or if I, if I shown the mum, it kind of looks like the... In this one. Uh, if I saw, if I shown the mom, it looks like, uh, she was hit by, like, aging death look. looks, it looks terrible. Sade. Um, how is one? Have you finally made up your mind? Not one, uh, not what I was talking to you about. I will think about it. As you would. I wanted to talk to you. Sire, I'm sorry, I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Hey, don't Please say it. it. Your Excellency. The smoke from the bonfires renders the air unbreathable. I so wish I could leave the city. Did you take some? Oh, you've got the disease. The Malaga. Where is his cart? Where is his cart? I demand to open everything. Letter from the innkeeper to the servant. The wheeled alchemist of the Alliance who rented a room upstairs specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay. This old fool must not want us to accidentally break his vials or something. So leave him in his fa uh, his filth. The customer is always right. To my help and death to the others! <laughs> Give me your clothes, boy and girl. And... Okay. Got some gold coins. I got some gold coins. And I got some gold coins. Uh, Alchemist research book. These pages covered in small, almost illegal, uh, illegitimate handwriting. Experiment, uh, experiment results. Patience observes and incomprehensible symbols. But the complexity of some recipes leaves no room for doubt. The author was a true alchemist, and it was uh, certainly very knowledgeable. Oh, it's a recipe. Okay, how do I get into... Ah! Ammo. What's that? No, no, no! <laughs> Where else? Oh, wait, no, that was just a back alley, probably. So I need to go to the, the inn. Where is the inn? Is that well I assume that would be money? You'll bank? Find all you need in a That'd be the Welcome. bank. It's such a pleasure to shop. see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Let me see what you have. Ooh. 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 Hey, I'm trying to look at stuff here. I like this one. I really like this one. How much money do I have? I got 13 coins. You need 240. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Um where is the inn? I see north. Inn. Where is the inn? How do I open the map? Where's the map? Where's the... Oh, there's the map. Oh, there's a map. Um... No, I don't know what I'm doing. The game is very... 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 Can I hop? Oh, I can. Yes. To my help! And death to the others! Come and taste my 
Farm these guys. I can. I can make myself look like I was from Bloodborne. Is it a bit weird that like suddenly it's just them? Okay, well, apparently I have a lot more charisma than I expected. I still don't know. Taking that, thanks. I saw something. You. You are you who are you? Or are you asking? I, I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. Oh, okay. I certainly. Okay. I need to be leaving. So he is the guy I need to talk to, but I need to find my cousin first. My cousin brother and what a mother. Hello? Excuse me. Where do I... I need to go do the... Um, the thingy first. Excuse me. I am the ruler of this godforsaken city. You shall open all doors. So I need to go to the inn, apparently. Oh, I'm back here. You are the guards, dude. Um... Where is the inn? I Excuse I've me. Seen you at the Are you one of the Can I swim? Can you swim in this game? No. No. Where is things? Big map, please. I want. No. Can I pick that up, please? Yes. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I want a pink map, please. Uh, ambassador art. You asked me. No, that's character. That's a codex. Wonder. It's equipment. It's me. Skills. I'm quite skilly. Damn it. Find. You would imagine it would have been close by. Frick it. Let's go back to. Uh, let me go back to him. Hopefully he does something. Sorry, God. Ooh, you can see. Take everything. Thank you. I, I would have thought. He would have had something near him. Well, I would imagine there's fishing in this game. I hate these mini... Ooh, okay. Something that looks different. Is this the inn? This looks like an inn. I meant to be Papa. Oh, is this the armory? Can I take anything? Okay. I thought I was close. Or is this like an intern arm? Oh, who are you? Hello? The quarter. So Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Ah, Captain, to, to you soon. sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes, we were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me, I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. 
Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well, then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Like, can I slice his throat? Can I do things that are not illegal? Is not illegal. Well, this is not the place I was hoping. Excuse me. In. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out of style? Yes. Does your vest belong to last year's fashion? Can't afford it though. I need to find the inn. Yeah. Okay. I need to find the inn. Have you finally made up your mind? Uh, show him the remedy he's sent. Show him the remedy he sent. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk. This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief? Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I, you don't have the right. I do have it. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. Find the tavern? Out of my way! I'm in a hurry! I'm the Lord! Good day, tavern keeper. Good day! Good day what is your pleasure? Ask about... Uh, With all these sailors coming and going, not you must... Right, not this say trip. Uh, no, ask him about this one. Has the Malachor really put a damper on your business? Nope, that's <laughs> the Malachor. Ask about... Nothing. I need to be off. Goodbye. No. The, the tavern. That tavern? Ooh. Well, thank you. Where is he? Thank you. I Where's you stay, Your Excellency? I'm in the tavern. I'm clearly here. Am I missing something? This game is very, very confusing. Or oh, I am very, very stupid. I'm starting to think of the ladder. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. Am I this dumb? Oh, hello, Your Excellency. Thanks for it the is tip. An honor. That is definitely... I would imagine you would have to go here. He said the tavern. Ah, the tavern has an upstairs. Well, well, well. Hello there, little guy. Hello you, there, old man. What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin. Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al Saad. Dr. His... Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. 
I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Hmm. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Okay. Are you not ashamed of My opinion of him is changing. Potions? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. Mm. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? Say so now, I assume this will affect the future. If I arrest him now, he's done. But I think if I help him leave the city, he might come to my island. And he might be my alchemist and he might find a cure. Mm, dilemma, dilemma. The other guys were torturing. He was kind of doing it in his own way. I'm going to help I'm him going leave. I'm to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Set of keys. Innkeeper storeroom key. Someone else's luggage. Locked it. Old engraved axe. Oh hell yeah! I've not enough strength points. No. How dare you? Oh yes, the cart of a champion. Ooh, I'm a pirate, boy! Arg, me hotters. We're off to see the wizard. Arg. I am what I am. And that is a pirate. Arg. Your pirates really talk like this. Ark, there is our. Are you? Are you? Ark. Please listen, I beg you. If you wanted to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd! I'm the one who put an end to his operation! Well, in that case, help us catch him so he could be punished like he deserves! He's trapped! He'll have to come out someday, you'll see! Propose a settlement? 
Order the dispersion. Speak of honorable side uh, of a horrible side of side of it. What? No. no. The side effect will kill them. They'll get even ang angrier with that. Order. Propose. I'll po propose a settlement. I can procure you some excellent potions as long as you promise to put an end to this. True potions of healing like those you thought you were buying. What are you, some sort of alchemist then? I hope you're not the same feather as the other. If that's the case, we have enough rope to hang the both of them! Trust me. I swear that each and every one of you will receive one. Ugh, our trust was already given. We're going nowhere without seeing the merchandise. Such a large number of potions. This story's gonna cost you a fortune. These vials could be lying around anywhere. I need to keep my eyes peeled. Right there. The crafting table. Um, alchemist. Potion. And it's science level two. Are you crazy, people? Where are the enemy? Any idea who I am? Don't up, imbeciles! I have a ship to catch! There's my you cousin! That? Yes, that's Constantine's voice. It's coming from the upper floor. It sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. I ain't giving them diddly squat. I need my money. Health potion! How do we get onto the second floor, though? Enemy detection. This man is going to bring the guard out if he keeps shouting like that. We should have gotten rid of him. Don't be an idiot. It's obvious that he's a noble, a rich man. He needed to be taught a lesson, but it's better we grab some coin. With all those posters we posted, someone with deep pockets will show up sooner or later to liberate the rooster. He's making a great deal of noise. We could knock him out or gag him. Can I just attack you all? I'm inside the village. Excuse me? How did you get there, Kurt? You're a witch. There. I would imagine they have potions. If you would please, potions. I'm gonna loot everything. Come on. Oh, there's a chest. I got a haze potion and a fury potion. What does that mean? Bad guys in here? Coins. He's on the second floor above. So I would imagine we have to go up. Just. See, come on, I can. Magic potion. I've got potions, but I don't think they're the right potions. Key to Constantine's cell. Okay. You would just leave it on the table, huh? Key. 
Uh, should I get him out before? <sighs> Ooh, big chest. What's this coat? My coat's better. But I can now go sell that coat. Hopefully I get some potions. Maybe Kurt gives me some potions. Well, well, I didn't need the key. This has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An oh, island drink. to govern, treaties to sign, Riches to expedite, and a demanding father to Constantine, it's me! My dear cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. Well, I do what I can. We're departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you, I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. And now I fight my way out. If you only knew how these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, good cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. No. They haven't spotted us. You can take my old shirt. We have a ship to board. You've always been the reasonable soul. Don't you think these brutes deserve a punishment? Yes, without a doubt. But don't you take your pressing shoes. matters. Kurt, it is your highness's decision to make. Whatever it is, I shall follow. Not enough endurance. Yeah. Well, that means you can take him back. I shouldn't have taken them off. My bad. My bad, boys. We're going to fight our way out. It's the only way I can think of getting more potions. That, and we have to storm their warehouse. What's in this one? Uh, level one science and outdoor project. It's not possible, just now. I mean, it's not possible. Science? Something? It's not possible just now. Okay. Well, we got out. And I still go attack them. They might have stuff on them. I kind of want the stuff. Fighting so far is pretty easy, especially now there's three of us. Or did you all leave? No, you didn't leave. Took anything though. Coins. More coins. Ah, see? Some ammo. And you have something good, good. Oh, okay. Well, there was a set two keys. One of them did have the key. Didn't need it. Is that enough? Um Potions? Do I have enough potions? Do I have... I really need to change that button. Really, really, really need to change that button. So... I am 
so angry. That sucks. I thought I would have done all right too, huh? So I was wrong. Oh wait, talent. Charisma science. Don't have enough points. Attributes. Endurance. Don't have enough. I get more points on level four. Sorry, bud, but I think I'm gonna have to leave ya. Just don't think I can find enough potions. I don't have enough science in me to create more. Can I just attack these guys? It's the old sword. It's science level two. <laughs> Maybe he has it? I, that, I've yet to talk to him. I found cool clothes. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? No, not yet. I've taken a long look at the situation. Better not to have any part of it. So? No. Okay. That's it. I still need to find the cabin boy, man! Men of the gold. If only the potions weren't so expensive. Go and tell him the good news. Ah, uh, I feel so bad now. I didn't want to do this! They forced me! They forced my hand! But, on the bright stuff, on the bright side, I think I got some good gear. <laughs> You guys forced my hand, you guys know that, right? That was your fault, not mine. I'm innocent of all things. Ah, Mr. Potion Maker, they're all dead. <laughs> so, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? Yeah. I've gotten rid of the mob. Bravo. You are free. I owe you my life. I remind you to- I... And he's gone with all his stuff still on the bed. Okay, next we find. Go directly to the embassy, stay here. Let's go to the embassy. Ah. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. Um, about. I this tracked down dude. your man. He's gone. I'll fit here him on his lies. Why should I deliver him to you? 
You deliberately hid the truth about him from me. What? Might I remind you that you're in audience with the Ambassador of the Bridge Alliance? And you to a legate of the Congregation of Merchants, that you treat like an imbecile. This man is indeed an alchemist of the bridge, and he told me much about your disagreement of opinion. And, of course, you sided with him. Certainly not. I have no part to play in your quarrels. I just chased him from our city. Now, if you're still intent on placing him in irons, you need to capture him on your own lands. How embarrassing. I should have shown more honesty in your regard. Please accept my excuses. And this modest gift for the voyage that awaits you. I need to be going. Fifty coins! Excellency. Good. Level three! I need to get to level four. Okay. I am on bad terms with the with the bridge alliance. Um no, I want side quests. Coin coin guard merchandise. Camp it with the ships in Manalog. I can do that. I'll do that for now. I'll do that for now because that seems like the easiest instead of trying to find the cabin boy. I do feel bad that I am now an illegal smuggler. Still wouldn't be able to use it all, so I'll just wait. Don't need to buy it now. I do really want them now. The bodies have disappeared! Ship smaller manifest. Where is it? I imagine it's up here. Sad. Ah. Zone controlled by other factions. Oh, okay. Do you have any idea how to get in there without being noticed? Let's yeah. take a look around the building. We we'll might find around. a less conspicuous entrance. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs. Hey! Just me, the governor of this area? If you don't mind, please just leave me alone. Yeah, turn the other way, please! You don't mind if I take everything, right? Thank you. Yeah, you don't mind, right? You're very forgiving. people out. It's just, just a quick punch to the side of the head. Sneaking level 100! Sneaking level 100! Woo -woo. <laughs> I'm hidden. Game law. I want to take all this. This is all mine. Mine, I say. Mine. Lock picking level one. Oh yeah, lock picking is boss in this game. Oh yes. Take this. Thank you. Here's Thank the you. ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. Yep. Merchandise is there. And what was in the other... Uh, another entrance, probably. I just went through the main entrance. Don't worry about it. We just need to leave. You know, you didn't say anybody. I'm hidden. I'm sneaking down like a boss. Did I go through that door? Yes, I did. What about that door? What about this door? If you wore a nought uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them, 
They might let us in, unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse one. I see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glasses, the way will be clear. I'll just need to find the proper ingredients, but it's doable. We didn't need to do it. I'd done it. Bit back on the times, bruh. The manifest is done. Thinking mode, activate. Dun, 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 dun. Sneaky sneak, ooh, me good. Thank you. I take it. I take it, take it. So fast. Attack this. Take it, thank you. A bottle of brandy. Don't see a thing. You can't see a thing because I'm too good at sneaking around. Level one lock picking skill of the bosses. Rusty gun. Okay, please move. Not my territory, but it is now my. Hey, put! Just leave it the front door! <laughs> Don't worry about it! Jesus. Clear out the. Clear out the guards! I. Oh. Oh, okay. I get you. Okay. I get you. Now I meant to clear out the guards. Protection ring. I'm going to put that on my arm. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. This one's the best hat I've got. But it doesn't look as cool as my hat. Thing is that glow uh, this one's so much better. Ooh. Ho! Ho! I need accuracy. I want that one. Hello. What can I do for you? We're the relay. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. Excuse me? I'm sorry, but... What did I do? Sir, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move it. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. Done? Are we done? Negotiate with the angry crowd. Um... They're a little dead. What's that? 
The angry crowd is a little bit gone. Find Constantine's clothes and bring it to him. Constantine had clothes? Sorry, I didn't realize that we left them behind. Are they worth money? We'll go back for them, because why not? Not like we've got anything else to do except for the game. Yeah. I probably could buy stuff, but yet again, like I said before, there's no point in me buying anything right now. You bad guy. Constantine's clues. I would imagine I would want to go down in there. I would imagine Constantine had clothes. Let's just go visible. Blaze glorying running in. Because you're still on the floor. Oh, I wish it had ragdoll me uh, mechanics. I wish the game had ragdoll mechanics. Hit their body, they go flying around. The evil den. Where's your clothes, brother? Our cousin? Sibling? I would imagine it's still upstairs. Uh, oh, actually, I would imagine it was in the door next door, right here, somewhere in here. Is your clothes in here? Or did, uh, is there a problem with that because I took your clothes before? Hmm. Maybe because I took your clothes beforehand? You look fine as it is. Come on, out of the way. Downstairs? What about this door? What about in here? Clothes in here. Or did I already get them? Find Constantine's clothes and uh really don't know. Unless I'm gonna just equip him with stuff. Is it meant to be this stuff? Sure, why not? Take it. That's yours anyways. How about that? You're equipped? Ah, okay, there you go. That's all your stuff. Off we go! My stuff is a bit better, but... You look good for uh, what you look like. Oh, I even got mud in my boots. That's pretty cool. So, Constantine Dorsey, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, your highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. I'm still without news of my cabin, boy. But we will have to do without. Did you when did you see your cabin, boy, for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? 
In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Be back soon, Captain. I will find your cabin boy. Where is it? Um, I really don't have to do this. It's just... I kind of feel like I have to do this. What's in here? Ah, there you are. Good day. Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's. The young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? Um, I'm ask about him. Uh, when was the last time you saw when him? did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. Uh... Do you he think have he enemies? could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. But he's coming to get doing his free time when you're on land. He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Hmm. Yeah. I need to be going. Farewell. Alright, alright, alright. I already think I can do with that for now. I need to go talk to your friend. Your friend that's over here. Are you Laro? Did Good you day, stab a little boy? I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. Taken? What do you well, mean taken? To the event. Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puff. Hmm. Gone. What? Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left. You get me? About the kidnapping. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. You think my story is nothing but mess too, don't you? It's just that I can't Not imagine yet. a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Cabin boy said Did Jonas seem troubled to you the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. Okay. Thank you, Lara. I need... To the tavern! Do, 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 do. I will find... I'm on the hunt. I'll save the boy. Little Jonas. Tavern? What is here? Uh, 
that man. That one there. He looks the most drunk. Out of my way! Sorry, bud. Not you. Tavern keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? No. No. I need to be. Goodbye. The Malachor is slowly killing our city. More and more business. Hello, sir. Have a nice day, sire. Hey, none of you are useful to me. One that looks like you. Sire, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Greetings, Your Excellency. That's fine. I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives? There are some days when you'd rather get drunk all day than have to suffer through this again. Ah, uh, you two. A back entrance, a front entrance, um, guy on the floor here. Nope. Are your boots worn through? Ooh. Is your hat out of style? Does your vest belong to last year's fashion? I don't. I just. The only thing I can think of is that I and are clearly looking from the um, the map up top. I clearly have them talk to that girl enough. So I need, apparently I need to talk. Could I trouble you again? Have you found Jonas? Not yet, but I. Uh, about his friends. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. Canal. What do you think about he's, he knows his oh, he's that's fine, that's fine. I need to be go. Strange story this is. Something isn't right here, I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. A canal. Um in the cab. Ah. Just one step ahead too far. I'll see you are back. The cabin boy. Uh ask him about the cabin. I'm looking for a naught. A young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A naught, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping. In my establishment. You surely jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? No. I need to be off. Thank Goodbye. You. Who is? I knew it! I knew it was you! I Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No. I have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. I'm looking for a naught that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A I don't think he would have seen boy. anything. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. What well, can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing that, I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in with a band of strong arms. 
The kind of men you can round up for a few coins. If you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive. Not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. About the rich Who man. was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, sir. You are in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulema embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. Mm. But what I trust him! Game from holding a penniless child? He seems like a fun dude. I trust him. Near the, f the district. The wealthy districts near the canal, he's, they said. This is clearly the canal. Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm guessing that's the lady. Well, how... Oh, you look grumpy. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here, but perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. I'm very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? These witnesses are all in agreement, and it's their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. Hmm. Uh, I would would have taken their son. That's how they found How did son. you find your son's trail? We have never stopped looking for him. We learned the new name they gave him, Jonas. My poor little Celestine. Then we learned the name of the ship he sailed on. No sooner had it docked in Serene than my husband had the crew watched closely, and we found him. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact? It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Noughts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. It's true. Also been scrolling... It's been calling out. That seems like an obvious place. There's a lot of running around in this game. <laughs> Why do we go now? I'll jump.
jump the fence. It's still on the ground. Good. Just where I left you. Captain! So, are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tie. I'm still without... I'm calling on Madame Fulton. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking on? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Norts, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a Nort. Our ships are his home. We are his only family. Hey. Hey. Be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Mm. Anyone who's not a nought? Oh, how I would like my father to be implicated in this sordid business. Your Highness, I'm happy. I don't know how I'd feel about your that. Your absence this morning worried both your father and me. Come now, Sir de Corsilio. My so father may have been. If, if we can't accord to, to the contract, he's never the boy was sold into I'm technically to slavery. Worry, right? Would you believe? But and now the parents in a gained what they Guarded gained and trying to get them ready to back. Though still seeing double How from last night's drink. The, he's I got friends. The captain thinks of them as, as the little as the cabin boy's family. My dear cousin jumped up out of nowhere and saved me. Mm. I'm quite the fairy tale damsel in distress. Should I you might have refrained from the try and save him, bring him back? The night or should I keep important departure? No, I say I don't trust the, the family. Risk. And half the pleasure, de Corsillon. But then it is the, the mom. salt of life. Hmm. Kind of sounds like the mom might not know anything. But you wanted to ask me something, de Sade? Uh, yeah, the contract. I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her, that rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son, who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Nords. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news, De Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there's always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Nords. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such a cord, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son because of some agreement signed between my uncle and the Nords? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance, uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child, and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norths as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Yeah. Oh, I feel sorry for the mum. Okay, so... Oh, I don't know what I'll do. Should I follow... I'll confront the husband. The wife, though, I will ask if she knew anything about the contract. Give me. 
This document yeah. mentions another property. A warehouse. That would be a great place to hide. Shall we take a peek? If you knew Excuse about me, the contract... But I haven't quite finished my inquiry yet. I'm going to be angry. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. Okay. With respect, my lady. Let's go ask the husband. It's the warehouse. I'm, I'm assuming that cuts it, uh, that dialogue was meant to be showed up before I took the note saying that there was another warehouse. Careful. Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. A handful of underlings don't scare us away. Right, cousin? Let's just try to remain discreet. Oh. You were down here. Down here originally. So, Desade, what are you doing here? I've come looking for your son. The Noughts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Noughts took him from us, but now we've got him back, and he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? Except reason... No. Ask him about... Tell him about... Some... I looked into the contract that binds you to the Noughts. It was indeed you who ceded your son to them in exchange for help with your business with the bridge. It is... Uh, it is so. But that sort of contract is ignoble. I never would have signed it if I had known. You should have thought of that before. Breaking the contract could have regrettable consequences for the congregation. The prince will know how to negotiate with the Norts. If they take my son back, my wife will die of sadness. Her sadness will be all the more terrible if she learned of your role in the story, don't you think? You wouldn't dare tell her. I, I beg you. You're not leaving me with a choice. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. Mm. I feel sorry. I feel so sorry for the the mum. I feel so sorry. It's... So it's here that our man keeps his son. <sighs> Abusive fathers. How do you want to handle you? this? My name is the Sade. I am legate of the congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my my father to allow me to go free yes even if i had to bend his arm a little that doesn't surprise me he seemed to have no intention of changing his mind i feel more sorry for my mother she seems so sweet and happy to see me you don't seem to be all that close to your parents i hadn't seen them since i was five years old i barely remember them they find me capture me and lock me up in this warehouse hard to grow close after all that my family is the noughts i am sorry for my parents but that is the way of it now can i go home yes you should still go and say farewell to your mother then find your way to the ship i'll see you there <laughs> oh, i feel so bad for the mom I do feel so bad for the mom. She had no part of it. No, I will be taking all your stuff. I'm just set sail. Oh. 
sorry. Alright, guys. I could have done that without talking to him. I see. Well, according to him, he wanted to set sail again. So, I do feel sorry for the mom. But it's whatever he wishes. It's what he wants. And he wants to be on that boat. So, you have to respect those wishes. And that's just how it is. He sold his son because, uh, because of stupidity. And that's all that is.